A good understanding of boons and conditions is a fundamental part of the game. This guide will teach you all about it. At first, let's mention commonly used terms in the game related to this topic. Boons are positive effects in other games known as buffs. The icons have an orange background. Conditions are debuffs and have negative effects. Icons have a red background. Boon removers or stippers are skills what removes boons. Condition removers do the same for conditions. Crowd controls or CC if you want disable target in some way. Condition removers also cleans conditions known as soft CC like cripple, immobilize or chill. Stun breakers removes hard CC like stun, knockback or daze. Power damage aka direct damage or just damage if you want comes from actual hits. Condition damage affects damage over time from conditions. Boon duration and condition duration specify extra length on top of the base duration. The maximum for both is 100% bonus, however, some traits can bypass this limit a bit. It's always based on caster's durations. Endurance refers to your dodge bar. Dodging depletes this bar and for a moment you evade all incoming attacks. Invulnerability has a similar effect like dodge, but don't use endurance and can be used in situations where dodge can't, like when you are immobilized. However, you will still take condition damage. Boons and conditions can be applied by specific skills, traits, runes, sigils or food and even with some consumables. Certain skills can also copy existing boons or conditions to others. Some can be also applied by skill combos, for more details watch combo field and finisher guide on my channel. On top of their effects can some classes benefit from them even more. For example, certain traits can increase base damage for each condition on target, or modify skill damage if their target have some wounds. Ongoing effects are indicated not only by damage floater and icon above right skill bar, but also often visually and verbally. You will hear complaints and your character will suffer as well. Damaging effects also appear as numbers around you or your target. You can choose between simple and fancy view with icons. I will personally recommend the second one. Looks better and it's much more informative. Aegis will block one incoming attack. Unblockable attacks ignores it. Can be corrupted into burning and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. The effect is also indicated with small blue shield on character's forearm. Alacrity decreases recharge time of all skills and can be applied only by Mesmer. Can't be corrupted and stacks in duration. It isn't affected by any stats. Indicated by purple flames around player. Fury increases base critical hit chance by 20% can be corrupted into blind and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. Your character occasionally shouts and spiral of white lightning appears around. Might increases power and condition damage by fixed amount. Can be corrupted into weakness and stack in intensity up to 25. Besides skills, it can be also applied by blast finisher in firefield. It's affected by boon duration. Character occasionally shouts and also appears short boost of orange lightning around hands. Protection reduced incoming direct damage by 33%. Can be corrupted into vulnerability and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. The character will shout and for a moment a blue shield will flash together with viral around a body. Quickness increases speed of actions by 50%. Not only skills will be faster, but also stuff like mining. Can be corrupted into slow and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. Indicated by short, very hardly noticeable blur effect around character and faster actions. Regeneration restores a small amount of health per second. Can be corrupted into poison and stacks in duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by projectile finisher in Waterfield. It's affected by healing power and boon duration. 
indicated by blue sparkling mists coming from under your feet and by occasional shout. Resistance temporarily stops effects of current conditions. It does not prevent applying new ones or clear them. Can be corrupted into chilled and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. Indicated by three gems connected with beams rotating around player. Retaliation damages back for every direct hit you receive. Can be corrupted into confusion and stacks in duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by blast finisher in light field. It's affected by power and boon duration. Indicated by a shout and slightly visible crystal spikes on forearm. Stability prevents one next hard CC from affecting you. Can be corrupted into fear and stuck in intensity up to 25. There is no visual indication besides the icon. Stealth makes the player invisible for short period of time or until hit something. Can't be corrupted, only removed by reveal and stacks in duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by blast and leap finisher in smoke field. It's not affected by any stats. Indicated by an invisible body and confused enemies. Super speed increase movement speed by 100%. It can't be corrupted and don't stack. New just replace old one. It's not affected by any stats. Indicated by faster moving and windy ribbons coming from your feet. Swiftness increases movement speed by 33%. Can be corrupted into crippled and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by blast finisher in lightning field. Indicated by shout, faster moving and windy ribbons coming from your feet. Vigor increase endurance regeneration by 50%. Can be corrupted into bleeding and stacks in duration. It's affected by boon duration. The character will sometimes express it by yelling. Bleeding is long ticking condition what deals damage over time. Can be converted to vigor and stacks in intensity up to 1500. It's affected by condition damage and condition duration. Only indications besides icons are occasional complaints. Blind will make next direct attack miss. Can be converted to fury and stacks in duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by blast and leap finisher in dark field or by projectiles and whittle finisher in smoke field. It's affected by condition duration. The character will be surrounded by dark purple mist with white eggs in the middle and will complain. Edges of the screen will be also covered by black vignette. Burning deals a large amount of damage over time. Can be converted to edges and stacks in intensity up to 1500. Besides skills, it can be also applied by projectile and will finishers in firefield. It's affected by condition damage and condition duration. Your character will burn in flames and complain. Chill decreases movement speed by 66% and skill recharge time by 66% as well. Can be converted to resistance and stacks in duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by projectiles and a whittle finisher in ice field. It's affected by condition duration. Player complains, changes color to light blue with sparkling icy mist around and moves really slow. Confusion deals a small amount of damage over time and additional damage per every skill activation. Can be converted to retaliation and stacks in intensity up to 1500. Besides skills, it can be also applied by projectile and will finisher in an ethereal field. It's affected by condition damage and condition duration. Indicated by a complaint and purple mist around player sparkling with bubbles and butterflies. Crippled decrease movement speed by 50%. Can be converted to swiftness and stacks in duration. It's affected by condition duration. Indicated by limp and complaining. Fear prevents all actions and makes a target run away from the caster. Can be converted to stability and stacks in duration. 
It's affected by condition duration and unlike other soft CCs can be removed with stun breakers as well. Indicated by complaint and dark mist falling from big skull above the head. Immobilize prevents from moving and dodging. Can be converted to swiftness and stacks in duration. It's affected by condition duration. Indicated by occasional complaint and purple chains around the chest. Poison deals a small amount of damage over time and decrease incoming and outgoing heals by 33%. Can be converted to regeneration and stuck in intensity up to 1500. Besides skills, it can be also applied by projectile and whittle finisher in poison field. It's affected by condition damage and condition duration. Character change scroll to green, surrounded by green mist full of bubbles and complaints. Reveal removes stealth and prevents from applying another one for short period of time. It's applied automatically if stealth is interrupted by any cause. Can't be converted and stacks in duration. It's not affected by any stats. Indicated by no longer invisible enemy. Slow decreases the speed of actions by 50%. Can be converted to quickness and stacks in duration. It's affected by condition duration. Indicated by dark blue tentacles around a character and slower actions. Taunt makes target run towards you and forces it to use the only auto attack. Unlike other soft CCs can be removed with stun breakers as well. It stacks in duration and can be converted. It's affected by condition duration. Indicated by crossed burning sabers above the head. Torment deals damage over time with double while moving. Can be converted to might and stacks in intensity up to 1500. It's affected by condition damage and condition duration. Indicated by large red scratches and black smoke appearing around your legs. Vulnerability on target increase your power and condition damage dealt to the target by 1% per stack. Can be converted to protection and stacks in intensity up to 25. Besides skills, it can be also applied by projectile and whittle finisher in lightning field. It's affected by condition duration. The character will occasionally complain and purple shield will pop up, shatter and fall on the ground. Weakness reduce endurance regeneration by 50% and also 50% of all direct attacks will hit with 50% less damage. Can be converted to might and stacks in duration. Besides skills, it can be also applied by blast and leap finisher in poison field. It's affected by condition duration. The character will occasionally complain. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.